They not going around carrying out lynching like they used to. But they can starve me to death. All of this is happening right now. Right now in Mississippi. This country was built on the black backs of black people all over this country. That flag is drenched in our blood. They know what they done to us. I question America. All right, Fannie Lou Hamer was a civil rights activist and freedom fighter, and while her activism advanced the fight for black people in this country, along the way, she endured beatings, racist medical treatment, and eventually she died at the age of 59 because society, of course, just couldn't withstand a black woman questioning America and its ideals. And quite frankly, she was sick and tired of being sick and tired, something we all understand. Joining me now is the woman who brings Fannie Lou Hamer to life in the award-winning short, film, Fanny, Emmy and Oscar nominated actress, Ingenue Ellis. I want to scream right now. <laughs> I am so happy to have you with me on set and uh, talk about your amazing work. I watched you. this film. You were Fanny Lou Hamer. Tell me why you were so committed to telling this story right now. Well, Mrs. Hamer is a prophet. Uh, when I say prophet, I mean that her words that she spoke in front of the Democratic National Convention Credentials Committee uh, are just as alive and urgent uh, now as when she spoke them, you know, uh, upwards of 60 years ago. Um, I'm from Mississippi, and I needed a guide of how to negotiate being a Mississippian, mm -hmm. fighting the Confederacy, mm -hmm. being a woman, taking care of my family, and Mrs. Hamer was that example for me. And she is an example for all of us. And yes. I have to say, for folks who don't know, you're not new to this, you're true to this, because you have mm -hmm. been in this movement. Years ago, you were um, actively involved in getting rid of the Confederacy, the Confederate flag in Mississippi. Mm -hmm. yes. um, so this is something that you've been passionate about beyond uh, Fannie Lou Hamer. I wrote a lot about her in my book um, yes. and what she endured as a mm -hmm. Mississippian. Um, and I, I agree with you, the Mississippi Democratic Freedom Party, um, or Mississippi Freedom Democratic Party, it's necessary now. Um, what was it about your background and connection to Mississippi that keeps you, I guess, grounded, but also active in the movement? It's just necessary. It's necessary. And, you know, we have these problems that are cyclical because we live in a, a Confederate culture. Yeah. And that Confederacy, that Confederate culture is not just in Mississippi. Yeah. It's all over this. It's all over this. Uh, it's all over this country. Um, and these issues keep reverberating and just in di different manifestations, like black folks not having drinking water in Talk Jackson. About it. Yes. And having a governor in Tate Reeves who declared April Confederate History Month. So a man who declares April Confederate History Month, whether there's a flag flying or not, does he really care about black people having clean drinking water? No, he doesn't. So what Mrs. Hamer was fighting for is, is something that I know that is a battle that we all must continue to fight. Yeah, and I do want to tell you, we've covered the Jackson, Mississippi water crisis yeah. for months um, on this show, Chalkway Lumumba, by the mayor there. Yeah. Uh, we have him on frequently, because uh, it's really just beyond Mississippi. I'm always reminded of the late, great Nina Simone, Mississippi, goddamn, because sometimes yeah. I want to say, Mississippi, <laughs> goddamn, like what is happening down there? You know, it's exhausting considering that there are so many black people in Mississippi and there are no black statewide elected officials in Mississippi. No. And so I think someone with your star power making that a priority um, is just really admirable. Um, I want to switch gears a little bit because I sure. have to tell you, I'm fangirling out right now. Mm -hmm. um, Lovecraft Country. I don't know if you know this, but it's been trending on Twitter. For oh, real? Yes. I don't know why. Tell I will tell why. you. <laughs> so, um, Ms. Ingenue Ellis, it's trending because someone said, someone asked the question, what TV show got canceled that shouldn't have? Overwhelmingly people started saying Lovecraft Country. So when I woke up this morning and I saw it was trending, I was like, maybe people know she's gonna be on my show and they started talking about it. <laughs> it was course. not about me. It was of not course. about me, I'm sad to say. <laughs> it was all about you and Lovecraft. I have to tell you, the Hippolyta episode, I Am, changed my life. I mean, I had to name myself. Yes. I will start crying if I talk about it long enough. I had to name myself and your portrayal of this black woman who traveled through time and planes and dimensions yes. uh, and said, how can I fit all that I am back in that tiny woman I was? I feel like that's who you are right now from being an, you know, an Academy Award nominated actress, an Emmy nominated actress, an, um, uh, an activist um, and someone who's still grounded in your roots. You named yourself. So if you were going to name yourself, what would you name yourself today? 
Ooh, child. No, you did not. We doing not. therapy this morning on the Cross Connection. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, Lord, today. Mm. When I, something I did back in the day when I was doing, doing my little, my effort towards the flag is I, I paid for a billboard on Highway 55 and uh, I wrote, we shall overcome, but I wrote them in Confederate flags. Mm. And it made everybody mad and Good I loved you. it. <laughs> I loved it, black, and, black folks and white folks was mad at me. <laughs> and one of the things I, someone said I was an agitator. Mm. And it just brought me so much joy. An agitator. And I said, okay, I'm Miss Agitator. I, I love, love that. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I want to ask, what can people do to support this film? Because, you know, Fannie Lou Hamer, I think, I assume that everyone knows who Fannie Lou Hamer no, was and they know her all. story, but it's not true. So all. many people don't know what she did and don't know what she endured. Mm -hmm. You tell the story, but I want people to watch the film. I wrote about it when she was beat, um, when she was beaten for trying to register to vote. And this was after her getting the uh, Mississippi episode. Deck me, I think uh, that they they would call yeah, it when they she illegally. Was castrated. Yes, yes. They, they castrated this woman. Yes. And just the cruelty and something that you say in the film that, that you're quoting her, of course. Um, they know what they did to us. Yeah. And I think why it was so surprising to me that so many people don't know is because they don't know. They don't want us to remember what they did to us. But we remember, and you're helping us remember in this film. You're a part of uh, the memory. So what can people do to support it? Well, they can watch it. How yes. about that? How can they watch it? <laughs> Tell the folks. Faith Film Works on Instagram, and it's also on YouTube. Mm. It's also on YouTube. I just want to say this real, real quick. Yes. It's not enough to know that this incredible sharecropper who turned into this freedom rights warrior uh, who testified right over over there. That's right, in the uh, it's not enough to know that she was beaten. The fact of the matter is, Mrs. Hamer, her words, her life, her legacy is consequential because it changed the Democratic Party into what it is today and ultimately changed politics in this country into what we know now. But we're still fighting those battles that yeah. Mrs. Hamer was fighting years ago, and we have to continue to do so. That's the sad part, but yeah. also the part that we don't feel in no way is tired. Exactly, girl. Absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. Thank you so much for being here. I Thank so you, appreciate it. If I were going to name you, you'd be an agitator, also an HBCU attendee, Miss Tugaloo, yes. also a Delta Sigma Theta yes. Sorority Incorporated <laughs> member. My executive producer will love me saying that. Um, so thank you so much. I really appreciate you being here and uh, letting me fangirl out with you for a little while. I appreciate you having me. Thank you.